Right oh. Right oh. We're going to do our thing. Yeah. Right oh. Welcome, Welcome to Dino, Dino and Dougie's, Dougie's Real Time. So, mate, what's your CrossFit goal for oh. the first half of 2020? Very, very good question. I would say if I could cl- rope climb, I can't climb a ro- the rope at the moment. Um, I don't know whether it's a lot of it's technique. A lot of it's the, the, I can't get my feet to grab the rope or I get the first one out. Second one, ugh, the rope goes everywhere. So for you, mate, it's a rock solid guarantee. Yep. That come the first of July. Yes. Oh, you're going financial year, mate. Oh, yeah. No, no. First oh, half oh, of the year. Yeah, first half of the year. First half so of this by year. By June 30. June 30. E O F Y. You are going to be scurrying up one of those little ropes, Scur- tapping the white line. Scurrying. Are yes. you up for it? I'm up for it. I don't know about scurrying. I think I'll, I might just get there. Look like a three-toed sloth type of thing. Possibly. Okay, for me, right? That's we're coming back. Just remember, thirtieth yeah. yeah, yeah. of June, mate. The video is going to be that? on you. Where are we? March. Four months. Four months. Four months. For me, I've always thought double unders were stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, double unders. That's another one. I think I don't like them. No. They seem to me like a contrived circus trick. <clears throat> oh, I think I like skipping. But double unders, mate. Who comes up with that sort of shit? <laughs> yep. So, but was it ever a thing before CrossFit? I would not think so. I reckon there was a little, probably some girls playing in the playground one day, tried to get a little trick going, and they yep. said, oh, can you do the rope twice in one jump? Yeah. Anyway, I now realise that I'm not going to be able to get away with just doing twice as many normal skips for too much longer yeah and i've got a master double unders i haven't even really tried to do them ever that's how much disdain i have for them but you know what that's a challenge i'm gonna have to take well dino the thing is i've almost put a line through double unders for me and it's and it's a, a psychological and an emotional thing i've thrown i've thrown in the towel on them and see now i'm actually starting to reconsider Double unders, because Dino's talking about it. Okay, I- well, like, right righto, righto. We wanted accountability. Yep. Let's make this a reciprocal agreement. I'm going to get double unders and rope climbs. Oof. You're going to get rope climbs and double oh, unders. Oh, Dino. <whistles> well, that's... that's. Are you biting off more than you can chew? Probably, but that's the type of guy I am, mate. You're going to have to chew hard. Wow. Okay, that... so are you in or not? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be in. Right. So Dougie and I have pinned our flag to the mast. Yep. What are your goals going to be? Yeah. In the comments. In the below, comments below. Right. Below over there. Accountability. They're there. No, just having little private goals that if you just get lost halfway through, you say, "Oh well, I'm just putting that in the drawer and not worrying mm. about it." Mate, you'll end up like you were with double unders. I have to pull them out of the drawer. Psychologically yeah, it's, broken. Well, I, I, I have tried them, and they, they did this thing. That this, this was the drill. That was supposedly, and we know, all know this who do this. The idea is to jump up and go, and that's meant to be to to, to mimic like, like a penguin. Yeah. So I, I, I did. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I did this. It was no correlation between the skipping rope. And, and that it whatsoever, it was literally, I might as well stand there and go, in fact, that could be a new CrossFit like workout, The Undertaker or something. <laughs> the penguin. The penguin the peng- slap. On the, on the board when you walk in, they've got oh, the, all the, the names. Oh, again. shit, not the penguin. Oh, fuck. Now, one thing this week that I've noticed is I came in, I, you must have this, I mean, everyone that is not an expert at CrossFit, because there's a few little things you've got to get your head around. You know, mm. You've got to get yeah. your head around the terminology. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? No, I'm still, there's going to be amraps and there's going to be e- emoms. Oh, oh, mate, oh, emoms, oh, I thought that was something out of Star Wars. Yeah. Like they were those little things that. Uh, what, is, what is it? Emoms every minute, minute on, on the, the minute. minute. Amrap. As many reps as possible, <sighs> I believe. Is that right? <laughs> I've learned something here in the Dino and Dougie real time show. And then wow. I, I didn't know, like, this idea of wads and wadding. Mm. Like, wadding sounds like something you've got a put, speech impediment. <laughs> or, or something like you put ro- down your pants <laughs> when you've got some sort of a leakage issue. <laughs> Dougie, one of the most popular segments last week was. Um, one to watch yeah, and yeah, yeah. the feedback that came around Josh Finley. Yes. You took it upon yourself to say we should talk to that young fellow and get some insights into what he thinks. Absolutely. And we caught up with Josh a little earlier. Here with one to watch Josh Finley. Burpees or pull ups? Pull ups. Clean and jerks or snatches? Snatches. T-shirts or shirts off? No shirts. Shirts are dumb. Rogue or brave? Rogue. Paleo or intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting. Macros or micronutrients? Micronutrients. Tribal or traditional ink? Traditional. Our man Dougie has been talking it up that he wants to get some ink action happening. For a man of his maturity, um, his class, and his somewhat pasty and weak body, <laughs> what would you suggest ink-wise? Tiger's Premiership. For a neat guy like me, who likes to keep things under control and under wraps, what are you thinking? Something neat. <laughs> Josh Finley, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's some really insightful information. Yeah. Um, not only... One... Not happy about the comment about me being pale and... What did you say about me? Well, I think people are going to be able to make their own judgment as they watch the, um, the episode this week. You have got a bit of a moon tan up, mate. Have I? Yeah. And where, where would your ink be, do you think? Um, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm sc- I'd be scared of getting ink, I reckon. I'm, I'm in hot pursuit of pleasure, not pain. And I know it's a bit painful, the process. You I'd might, be, in for, I'd be, be happy with a transfer. Well, how much pleasure would you have to get at the end of it to make the pain worthwhile? That's, that's, a, story for, that's, a, that's a story for another day. Okay. Well, back to one to watch. Right. right? Yes. Obviously, Josh Finley and Kimmy last hey, week. Um, let's run the promo. Dougie. Popular segment last week. Yes, it right. was popular. Too popular. I think. Yeah. I think that the yeah. people have yeah. basically yeah. supported our contention absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. around yeah. Kimmy and Josh Finley. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh well, that that's good. I, I thought about this this week because I knew the segment was coming up. I thought I'm going to take it seriously, and I've got to watch a few people in the gym. And I thought to myself, who is there else out there? With Kim, obviously, was a standout. Uh, obviously, Finner was a bit of fun. We had. He's an absolute gun. But I was thinking during the week, someone I, I haven't seen for a little while, um, but I had been observing them. So there's two people. These are people who really get in there and have a go. One person is Ali Edward. She has a real go. Um, Lauren Kerr, Loz, she comes in and has a crack and she's really developing with, with double unders and, and trying to get stuff going, what we talked about before, about, you know... So it would be interesting to see what her goals are. What her actually. goals are. Yeah, that's right. Um, but the one that really stuck out for me is being someone who had done a, uh, in the CrossFit area, and not only that, in the Rumble area, was Heidi McKinnon. She, um, she is a bit of a quiet achiever, but she does, really, she does really well. She's really good with the lifting. And when we did Rumble the other night, um, she flashed past me when we were doing a GI Rumble, past about three or four times. Got a bit she's of good pace. Runner. Good she's pace. She's a good runner. Um, she's another one that brings a lot of positive energy in. She does. I've never seen Heidi come in not be no. in a good mood, no. with a smile on her face. No, no that's right. 
She's uh, she's a, she's a contender. So she's she's my one to watch this week. Oh, look, I would have gone with Ali. Um, yep. Ali's been mainly training in the morning when I've been coming in, yep. and just same as I said last week. No mucking around. Get in. Get it done. Six o'clock in the morning. Yep. Out of here at seven. Um, been really consistent, mm. and I think. There's a few people you've mentioned there that if we can see them get another good three months of consistent training under their belt, I reckon that they're going to take off mm. over the second half of the year. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, that's episode two. Two. Bedino and Dougie's, Dougie's Real, Real time. time. We look forward to seeing you next week. We look forward to hearing goals. Goals, comments, questions you might have. Um, subscribe, which is over here. Comments are there. Likes are there. So, sign it out. Sign it out. For, for Dino, Dino and Dougie's, Dougie's Real Time. Real time.